now we want to talk about click events. So that is when you click on something inside of your React app, how does React actually handle it, if at all, right? So with text, you probably don't usually use a click event unless you want a link or you put it on a button. I'm actually going to put it on text just so we can see how it's done. And that's it. So let's go ahead and jump into Sublime Text into my post detail. And on the H1 tag, this is where I'm going to have my click event. And to do it, we just say on click, just like that. Use, use these curly brackets, and this can actually call something inside of your component. Now, what is it that we can call? Well, let's go ahead and say that the title was clicked, and that's going to be my click event. All right, so that's the name of the method. This is how you define a method. Pretty simple. And I'm going to go ahead and just say this dot title is clicked, just like that. And I'll go ahead and alert clicked on that actual method. Okay, so let's, let's uh, try it out. And what do you know? It actually works. Now, oftentimes what you'll see is an event being passed. So if you're familiar with other libraries, you'll see an event being passed. And this is especially important for something like a button or more specifically, a submit button on a form. Sometimes you want to prevent that from happening. So you could do something like event.prevent default, just like that. So this actually changes it quite a bit. Event.preventDefault seems like it's working, possibly it could be, but the thing is that's not working is now I can't reference this. I can't necessarily reference what's in the component. So there's one more thing that I need to keep in mind when I have an event like this is I have to update my constructor. So our constructor by default doesn't really do a whole lot. It passes in a default item called props, and we just need to make sure we do super props. So if I really want to do this method correctly, this onclick method correctly, all we do is say this dot title was clicked or the name of the method equals to this dot titles click bind this. What this allows me to do is then say like console log this.props. And that will now work. In fact, I can alert this.props. Let's save it and click on it. And it says object on object that is working. Um, versus if I got rid of this, just by commenting now with two slashes and clicked on it, it gives me an error. It actually brings me to this error because it can't read props of undefined. So this actually just brings those things in together. And it is often a critical piece when you use an event like this. There are absolutely other events, like on submit is another one that you'll probably use fairly often, but the same concept will apply there as it did with this on click method. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of the alert. We don't need it, but we have this title we'll click now for your reference in the future. Make sure you subscribe to get everything. We will be posting a lot of new React content pretty much every day until we really flush out a lot about React. I'm super excited about this library because it's really awesome. See you in the next one.